Now, how frustrating is it for you for, and I'm sure many young filmmakers go through this, where they had, they want to do films, but they find, especially for yourself at the time, technology wasn't available to you to make everything that you had in your head come to the screen. But now all of a sudden, the, everything is possible to you. Technology is much more affordable. It's easier to get a camera. So how does that, how does that get you excited to, when, that, when all of a sudden technology became much cheaper and more available to you? For, for, for me, it was a, new, a whole new world, whole, whole new doors that opened, you know, because it's not anymore about the gear. Uh, you, you can, it's affordable, it's accessible for a lot of young filmmakers out there. So the only thing that you have to do is be very creative. It's about, it's about the story, the script. It's about, uh, this is the, the blueprint, right? It starts with your script. This is an advice that I can give to all the young uh, directors or producers or uh, filmmakers out there. If you want to make your first film, make sure that the blueprint is good. That what made you decide that Last Inquisitors would be the fir your first feature film? Uh, well, actually, The Last Inquisitors is actually was what my first feature film, yes. But I did, I did a lot of short films, you know, and the commercials. And I, I always wanted to shoot fiction. And I always wanted to do like, uh, yeah, it's boy stuff, right? Shooting and stuff, you know, <laughs> so I, I always was very excited to do that once, you know. And um, and I, I wrote my script in that sense that there, that there was adventure and action in it and that there was all kinds of things in it. And also a little bit uh, something to think about. So I wrote a story that was interesting for all kinds of people, you know, and were still there was enough action and excitement in it, you know. So, uh, uh, so that that was uh, something I I really wanted to do. Uh, oh yeah, so uh, now, guy, because I know I know you said you want to do a lot of action and adventure. Now, films in Belgium, you're kind of a got to go against the flow. You're kind of a more of a, a rebel as opposed to what other Belgian filmmakers are doing. Right, action action in Belgium is taboo. You know, they <laughs> they're not they're not really an action movie in Belgium. There are not a lot of directors who shoot action. And that is because action uh, film is uh, not so accessible as it is in the U.S. as it is in, uh, in California, you know. Uh, because behind every corner you have people in the... Uh, you, you guys are having a film industry in Europe. We're not talking about the film industry. We're talking about uh, different companies that produce films, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not like a huge film industry. And, uh, and Hollywood... It's a, it's a different kind of thing, you know. You, you have many people who are in, working in the industry and who are doing like for FX, you know, FX. If you want to have a fire technician, if you want to have some, some, somebody who handles the guns, you know, everything, it's very accessible. Those are things that we don't have here, you know. You have to do it all by yourself and find out how you can do it. So, so it's kind of more difficult to shoot action movie over here than it would be in Hollywood. On the other hand, I'm close to the UK, and I'm working right now. I'm working on a new film, actually on two new films, 2017, and I got I got some really great martial arts uh, actors in it, involved in it. Uh, for example, Zara Python, she's a UK actress. She's very gorgeous and beautiful, and she's a kick-ass fighter. Actually, <laughs> she's she's wonderful. So yeah, she she she's she great. She, she could be like the second Kate Beckinsale. So. I need to shoot with her now because in a few years I possibly can't afford her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now, what what is the Belgian film situation like? Is it is it subsidized some by by gov by grants where you get money from the government? Well, actually, in Belgium, yes, it is the way. It did. If you really want to shoot a theater film, actually a quality uh, film, uh, then how you got you don't have a lot of production companies that really uh, put all their own money into it, you know. It's not like in Hollywood, you have the big guys who are putting the money in it. But it's like a, a part of the foundation, a part of some guys who invest some uh, private fund in it, you know. And uh, yeah, it, it's kind of a mix, you know. So, so to, trying to get money from everywhere, but uh, first of all, from the film fund. And uh, yeah, for, for some guys it works better than for other guys. But in the film fund, they're really still scared about action film because yeah. they know that we can compete with the big Hollywood movies. And it is kind of true that action is tricky if you want to shoot it, you know. You just, yeah, you, you, need, you need to shoot it in the right way. You, you need to use the, the right techniques to shoot it. 
and, uh, and, and Belgium actually and a lot of European countries uh, are, are very good in shooting culture film, you know, but culture film, yeah, this is not my kind of thing, I really don't, yeah, I, 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 I'm not going to say that I don't like it, but it, it's not really like uh, something that is in my interest, it's also not really commercial, Let, let's face it, you know, culture film is good for film festivals, mm -hmm. but it, commercially, it's not really the, a big hype, you know, yeah. It, so, uh, so I like more over uh, shooting action film. So for uh, so guys, I mean, w since action is not a huge part of the Belgian filmmaking process, for you when you decide to do action films, where do you get uh, inspiration or influences from? Since you're not really able to just work on other action films, there are you just watching lots of action movies? Who are some directors that sort of uh, inspired you when you when you come together with an action film? Uh, well, actually, um, Tarantino, for example. Um, but you have a lot of uh, Hollywood uh, directors who inspire me. There, there are more uh, directors that inspire me, but I, I'm not really looking at the directors. I'm trying to 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 to, to fear my. Uh, I'm trying to get my own course, you know, and find my my own uh, artists. And you know what? The best way that you can do is try all kinds of things, all kinds of techniques that you see in other movies. Try them out, you know, and see what works for you, uh, because. You might not suit for, for a certain kind of techniques, but um, the more, more you shoot and try it, the more you, you learn which kind of thing that you like and which kind of style you, you, you get on, you know? And it won't be you, it won't be yourself who, who's gonna say, okay, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is a, a good style or whatever, you know? Or uh, the people will say, this is your style eventually after a while. You can't say it at, at, in, the, in the beginning. You have to get deeper in it. It's yeah. not after your first movie that they're gonna recognize you as a certain style, you know? It sounds like you wanna be an inspiration to other, to younger filmmakers. You wanna pioneer the situation right now. Is that what's going on? Well, actually, I'm, I don't know. I, young directors shouldn't learn from me. They shouldn't watch my, they should watch, if I watch movies, I watch the big guys. Mm. Why would you look to, uh, to, to a, a lower director? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but you have everything in front of you. Watching the big Hollywood movies, you see how it's done, you know, you, you see the techniques they use, the camera shots they use. If, if I watch a movie and I, I put the knob off and I look which kind of shots they use, you know, to the technique, then I learn a very lot, you know, because, mm -hmm. oh, they, they're probably going to use the static cam. They're probably going to use the dolly. They're probably going to use, use the crane, you know? You, you, you get inspired by that, you know? You can't, you don't watch the story at that time anymore because my wife is always complaining. <laughs> can you work like a decent person? I said, yeah, but I'm looking at the technique because I'm always yeah, babbling. I said, yeah. oh, they, they probably oh. use the crane. Oh, that's a bad shot. They shouldn't have done that, you know? <laughs> she, she said, okay, shut up now, okay? I want to see <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 